welcome back everyone to another video and in this one uh, we'll be making an arm workstation so i've been meaning to do it for so freaking long and just waiting around for different sort of hardware that would be perfect and like i've had this one for a year and i'll tell you the entire story behind this one but you know arm is mostly prevalent in sbcs or servers there's no really mid ground this is the closest thing i could find and as much as it looks like a proper desktop motherboard it is an actual arm system uh, and sharp idea marks you have seen the amd logo here it is amd uh, so it's it's a rare beast it wasn't around for too long um this is actually a server motherboard uh, it has got 16 gigs of ecc memory uh, an octa core cortex a57 um arm clocked at 1.5 to 2 i'm not sure about the clock speed a uh, couple of pcie express lanes but those are either you can use this one as at x8 or you can use both both of them at uh, x4 each um you have your bmc that's mostly server stuff so you have a separate ethernet port for your bmc you have a couple of 10 gigabit lan ports so this is way 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 advanced than what I, what i have at home you have your SD card sl slot which is only used for firmware upgrades and your second BMC uh, Ethernet jack again for the BMC not for the main system and your serial port uh, no HDMI no video out whatsoever so I told you it, it kind of looks similar to a uh, regular um, desktop board it's not there, this is where similarities get a bit strange um, you have your ATX power supply you don't need a separate CPU power it, arm low power consumption doesn't need a separate pin for it you have your on onboard um power like my mini power supply that's what uh most of industrial grade um and server grade stuff have is like a plop on module for your cpu power and everything else uh, and then you have 14 sata ports so my initial plan was to use it as a nas i then then ended up using free nas which runs on x86 so now I have my Core i3 as my NAS and this is going to be uh, hopefully my daily uh, use workstation. Um, yeah, so the story of how I got it is interesting. This was given to me, I didn't buy it. This was given to me by a guy named David Tischler and he owns and runs, he currently is working at Bellina but he owns and runs his own uh, micro server uh, service so you can actually uh, get a micro server based around any of the arm hardware architecture boards like raspberry pi's 96 boards beagle bones and at some point he also had one of these i'm not sure if they all uh, they are still available uh, but you can go check him out at mini nodes i'll leave the link to his website and everything so this was a bet on whether we could get this working this was a dead unit uh, and the issue what uh, what I suspected was the one is that the uh, f BIOS had, had gone bad. Now whether it was a bad upgrade or uh, just over time it went bad or something else happened. We don't know. But we were able to reflash the whole BIOS and we were able to get it working. I was also helped by Carl Perry. Um, I'll leave a link to his Twitter as well. Uh, both of them great guys, part of the Works on Arm initiative um, and you know, just just great arm folks to be around with so david just ended up uh, giving me this unit and uh, so this was an rma unit uh, I, I guess he never uh, they never ended up taking from him but um, here it is and let's put it into my workstation uh, with a graphic card for um, for you know display out you need something uh, we'll be using the um, serial port somewhat, not a lot. Uh, just make him uh, just probably for like the, the initial um, boot lock. There is a power button, but I don't think there is a oh there is a power header as well. So um, that's fine. We can use that. And for the power supply, I'm actually going to go with one of the smaller uh, Pico power units right here. So. These are really tiny power supply and you power them with like an external 12 volt adapter. I'll show you as we go. Yeah, I mean, great hardware. Uh, too bad AMD didn't, you know, 
follow through, made more ARM stuff. I think this was like the first and last um, couple of chips. So th this was in two variants and that was it. The case I'm using is the Corsair Carbide Spec 1 and I will be removing the um, the hard drive cage from it because funny story that hard drive cage sells for more than the price of the case itself and i need that one to expand my nas storage drive um and so that my nas storage isn't just dangling around um i need that so i'll be removing that and hopefully uh I, i'll be able to place the hard drives and the ssd on to a onto the um cd-rom bay uh, which i have a converter for so let's get started let's get the case open and from there on and from there we can move on with that uh, yeah it looks like it's a micro atx so all the screw holes are properly labeled so we have a few of them already installed so we have these installed i think all of them are installed oh um these bolts um i think we just are these needed i think so all right so i think i need these for uh matx can these be removed now um which one do i need both of them right um so those are the only two I need to populate. Anything else is in there? No, I, I still have to do that one. So these three, everything else is in there. And we have our um, Thingo cable things there. Uh, I think the fans wired internally, so that is nice. And our everything else is in this uh, bay. So I'll remove the bay once. Uh, wait, wait, yeah. I'll remove the bay once everything else is assembled and tested. Alright, so I had the recording off, didn't realize it until right now. So, all the screws are in. I've, uh, not all, there's some few to go. The motherboard is in, so um, yeah, just, just continuing with the screwing the board bit. Uh, just, I think, a couple more left. And then we can do our first test uh, with the new power supply and see if everything works. And that should be the last one. Yep. Um, apart from that, uh, yeah, let's let's power it on. Let's get the serial cable uh, and see if it works. And I'll show you guys the power supply. So here's the thing about this power supply. Like it's not from a really known brand, but. It actually has an okay reputation. So this is what a Pico power supply is. It's a yeah, it's a it's a teeny tiny power supply. But all of the actual work is external. So you get this barrel jack connector, and you just use that to uh, you know power everything else up uh, and and do that externally. So all the a, all the DC conversion uh, is external. All the power supply is doing is um, smoothing the uh, 12 volt and then um, providing the 5 volt uh, lines. And it it goes in simply 
just over the 24 pin connector Now provided this is a very weird place for a 24 pin connector on a motherboard but you know we aren't dealing with a regular PC here. So now I need to see if this so this just pours through I'm not sure how I feel about that but eh. so let's get a serial cable I don't have anything to put the serial cable through though oh I have my laptop right now. All right, let's see if um, if it boots to if it if if it boots to UI uh, because I have to make some changes in the uh, UEFI as well. So let's see if it boots the Fedora UI and it would help if I add the hard drive where I have Fedora installed though. Now we should be good to go. Powered on. And now we wait for UEFI to load. Was it takes uh, ages to do so. It would also help if I had the VGA plugged in. So the monitor just detected the VGA cable, which is nothing to be to write home about. But still waiting for the console to come up on the. UART serial serial port actually more realistically give me console it, it takes 15 to 20 minutes the fans red I would have preferred green but you know hmm. what else uh, again you don't need that much like airflow in this case especially with the ARM processor um, I'll, I'll surely put some mats here and there so dust doesn't come out but or come in sporting fine PCI is recognized really nothing on the um... hey we've got console look at that Um, yeah, so exciting times we live in. A GPU on ARM giving us display. It's a super old board and it's surprising how no one's gotten to it yet. Like, Alright, so that works. Um, going to cut it here. Um, the other thing I will test in a second is the uh, is both the graphic card and the USB 3 um, booting together and working because there was some itsy bitsy issue with both the PCI lanes uh, ports working together um, not sure what the exact configuration is so I'll reboot um, get the USB uh, card in there and hopefully it boots up from there fine um, yeah let's uh, let's get to it and uh, we'll see you all in the next one